Welcome to our tutorial about lofts with rails. Let's begin by activating the rectangle tool. I'm going to place a square about here. Right click and done. Now let's add an equal relation. Right click and done. And activate the line tool. I'm going to create a line from the bottom left corner to the top right corner of the square. Right click and done. Now let's select this line and convert it to construction geometry. We'll add a coincident relation between the center point and the origin point. Let's apply dimensions. We'll make the sides 1 inch. Notice that this dimension is called D0. We're going to talk about that name later. For the time being, let's just click OK and finish the sketch. Now let's create a second sketch. Let's make the XY plane visible. We'll offset by 2 inches. And take a front view. This sketch is going to be a second square. Right click, done. Activate the line tool, bottom left to top right. Right click, done. And let's convert it to construction geometry. Add an equal relation. And let's apply some dimensions. Remember the name of the dimension for the first square? It was D0. Well, for the value of this dimension, we'll enter D0 divided by 2. Click OK. We've created a square whose side is half the length of the big square's side. Let's add a coincident relation between this center point and the origin point. Now let's hide work plane 1. And let's hide the XY plane as well. We're going to create a work plane. Finish the sketch. Plane command. Let's select this line. And this line. And here's our plane. Let's place the sketch. Project geometry. We'll project this point, this point, this point, and this point. Let's create a three point arc now. Second point, and our third point. Let's create another three point arc, our second point, and our third point. Right click and done. Let's apply dimensions now. We'll make this arc 1.5 inches. And the radius of this arc we will set at 2 inches. OK. Let's exit the sketch. Now right click and hide work plane 2. We're ready to activate the loft tool. Let's choose the first profile and the second profile. Now let's add a rail. I'll select this profile and click OK. Here we have the results. Let's double click on Loft 1 and see if we can add a second profile to the rail selection. Click OK. And we've added a second rail which belongs to the same sketch. Let's edit the loft again. This time we'll use the center line option. Let's select this line for our center line. We can use this curve as the center line as well. This concludes our tutorial about creating a loft with a rail.